my name is Daniel Erickson, and I'm the lead writer on Star Wars The Old Republic. Star Wars The Old Republic is set 3,000 years before the original movies and 300 years after the events of the original Knights of the Old Republic. It's been about 10 years since a tentative piece has come out, and things are just starting to fracture. <laughs> Today we're going to show the Bounty Hunter. The Bounty Hunter is sort of a gadgeteer. He's got a flamethrower, he's got missiles, he's got a jetpack, and he's got one of the widest ranges of looks and play styles of any of our characters. We loved telling stories in the Star Wars galaxy. Being able to do it in an MMO form means you get to play the smuggler story, the Sith warrior story. You get to play the Jedi Knight story, and each one is tailor-made for that piece. So it's a huge, huge opportunity to do something really big at scale that we never would have been able to do in a single-player game. Finally. So we looked back at Knights of the Old Republic, which had full choreographed combat. Lightsabers hit each other, blaster bolts, you could tell where they were going. We said, okay, we need to do that, but we need to do that in real time in a server-based system, which ended up becoming one of the biggest real challenges and one of the biggest accomplishments of the game. One of the most important things to us when approaching the game was that this is everybody's Star Wars. And so we wanted to make sure that the hardcore fan has somewhere they can come in, they can see some cool things, learn new stuff that they wouldn't have known, but the casual fan could come in and we're gonna take them in and we're gonna teach them about the entire giant galaxy. Well, we're not talking about any of the post-release content right now. We are looking at wrapping up everything we're doing right now for a spring 2011 release, and we hope to see everybody online really soon. <laughs> oh, sorry.